A lot of the small businesses that I'm working with that are coming to me, some of the things that I'm hearing them say is, I've got five proposals out and I haven't heard a word from any of them. They're ghosting me. Things are taking so much longer. Uh, you know, there's harder questions being asked about return on investment. People are fearful right now of risk. They feel not so much that, yes, we're on, we're, things could be better. The status quo isn't that great right now. But what they're really afraid of is that they're going to make an investment in something and not get the, re the results that they're looking for. You know, for example, the other day I was talking with a small business owner who's thinking that he needs to hire his first salesperson because he's reached a point of growth that he can't grow anymore. He only has so much time in the day that he can do the selling. He also doesn't really enjoy doing the selling. And he's tried to hire a salesperson before three times and it hasn't worked out. And so now he's like, all right, in order for me to grow the business, I need to hire a salesperson. But I've made that mistake three times before. And right now I'm just afraid of making the wrong choice. That's the thing that I'm hearing over and over again. I'm afraid of making the wrong choice because it hasn't worked out in the past. And the other thing I'm also hearing from them is Every, you know, everybody, lead generation is down. It's harder to get people's attention. And then if you do get their attention, it's taking longer for those things to happen. Um, and for some of the clients that I have been working with, the way that they've been able to get through that is having a better sales conversation where, you know, they're able to increase, increase their close rate and their average order size because they're building that trust. They're, they're seen as a collaborative partner with them. And so they're able to close more business for more dollars. But it's the ones who are afraid of making the investment in their own skills or their team skills. Those are the ones that I'm I'm actually a little feel for, fearful for, because mm -hmm. if you don't make smart investments and you just kind of hold on to things and wait for it to happen, when the wave of growth comes, you're going to be way far out, you know, a, a mile from the shore and not going to be able to capitalize on that forward momentum. So it's it's trying to get them past that fearfulness of making the wrong decision and examining the impact that a decision is going to have. That's that's where I find that the biggest struggle is right now.